Hello ho there, neighborinos. Just got a couple quick stories for you, and the first one is, oh my god, it's unbelievable. Okay, so last year, do you remember how there were, like, no mentions of virtual reality at E3? How Beat Saber wasn't there, how freaking Moss wasn't there, Rescue Bot wasn't there. Like, all of these different projects that we saw were not shown at E3 last year. Well, this year, that's going to change. Upload VR has announced that they are going to be doing a virtual reality presentation at E3 this year. The entire expo is going to be held on the 10th and 11th of June, whereas this presentation in particular is going to be held on June 10th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. At this presentation, they are going to showcase quite a few different titles that are in development, currently going live, and things that we could be enjoying at that present situation. We could be enjoying demos there at E3. So if, if you are a VR fan, and if you're listening to this newscast, you probably are, at E3, June 10th, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, you can learn everything you want to know about upcoming VR titles and the like. So, you know, keep it posted, put it on your calendar, do whatever you need to do to learn what you to learn what you really want to know about upcoming VR games. The other piece of news is slightly less interesting, but it is still kind of cool. So, Sony is planning on releasing a couple 8K TVs to go along with the 8K resolution system we'll be getting here in, what, March? Well, sometime next year. To go along with the PlayStation 5, Sony is going to release a couple 8K TVs. It's the Z9G. It's going to come in two different models, a 98 inch or an 85 inch. This is it has a hefty price tag on it. Like I said, two different models. Even the che the cheaper one of the two is going to run you thirteen thousand dollars. While the more expensive one, the ninety eight inch, is going to run you seventy thousand dollars. I don't know about you, but personally, I don't have seventy thousand dollars to spend on a TV. Honestly, I, I wish I had that much to to spend on a house. However, in the event you still feel like trying to push this system to its limits, there are quite a few 4K TVs you can get. If you go shopping around on Google, you can get some starting at some relatively name brand TVs, new, starting at around $180. That one is going to be 40 inches, the Scepter TV, 40 inch LED, 60 hertz, 4K. So, if you want a 40K or a 4K TV, that's going to run you around 180, maybe 190 from Walmart or something. The next one, next one down is going to run you about 200. So, you know, not too unreasonable, but if, if you want to try to push it to the limit, try to go 8K, I, I would suggest waiting a few years before, you know, the, the market settles down and, you know, you aren't paying $4,000 for a TV the same way 4Ks did when they were started. So, you know, you, you might want to settle for the market a little bit, wait a couple years, uh, probably about halfway down the PS5's life cycle. Uh, and then you can actually get an 8K TV at an affordable price. Not, again, $70,000. Not $70,000. So, I believe this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.